today I will be vlogging. If you guys like this ponytail, it's the Bellamy um, clip-in ponytail. And my hair is dirty. I have to get it done. So I just decided to clip this little ponytail in. And I'm headed to Ulta today and the grocery store. So it's in like the same little shopping center. So it's going to be like a one-stop shop. Uh to all the places and I got my boxy charm I wanted to show you what I got in my boxy charm this month before I do head out I just got off the phone with the post office well I didn't get to talk to anyone I was on hold for like 30 minutes and then I found out well I figured out I could do it online so I ended up doing it online um, I ordered something from Fashion Nova and I forgot to add my apartment number and this is just a pain in the butt like I can't believe I forgot that um, I've never forgotten anything like that before. Like, how did I forget to add my apartment number? <laughs> but I have to go to the post office tomorrow and pick up my package. Hopefully it's there. Um, and they didn't return it back to Fashion Nova because that would be a hot mess. Um, but I did talk to Fashion Nova and they told me that I could go schedule pickup at the post office. So that's what I did. Hopefully I'll be able to pick it up tomorrow because they close in 30 minutes. So I'm not even going to bother today. But let's move on to what I got in my BoxyCharm. Okay, so I'm currently sitting on the floor <laughs> because it was too high up. But the only thing that I don't have here right now is the lipstick that I'm wearing. We got a um, O for Liquid lipstick, and it doesn't even say what shade. It just says that it's Reina's Fave. So it's an Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick, and it's like more of a dark nude. Right now, since it's summer, I like more of a lighter nude, but I really like it, and I think it's pretty. So I'm going to show you the rest that we got in the box, everything else that we got in the box. So this is the Alamar, Alamar, I try to make it sound like Hispanic, Alamar um, eyeshadow palette, Reina de Ca del Caribe eyeshadow palette volume one. It looks like a book, which I think is super cute. This is what it looks like. Um, ooh, it was made in Cuba. I don't know, distributed from Miami. So this is what the inside of the palette looks like. How, this is just like a little plastic insert. How pretty. I am wearing this on my eyes today. I'm obviously not wearing any of the blue colors. I am wearing the shade La Costa on my lid. I'm, I am mix Coco Taxi and Tropico in my crease. That's how I have that like little orangey, peachy um, shade in my crease and then I have cafecito on my lash line and then we also got this eyeliner and this is the Jante Bleu dark brown eyeliner pencil we did get their lip liners um before and I do like their lip liners I just put that on my um lash line smudged it out with cafecito so this palette is so pretty um I'm really excited about this uh and I'm excited to use the other colors like the blues so this is really nice we got these Baddington lashes in the style. Monroe. Um, I already broke it. I'm gonna have to cut it. You see, like somewhere right here. Yeah, right here. I already kind of broke it trying to take it out. So I don't know, these lashes are a little too natural for my taste anyways. Maybe I'll save them for my mom when she comes to visit and I do her makeup, but the packaging is gorgeous. I might just take the lashes out and give it to my mom and then um, keep the box to store lashes because I really like this box. Then we got the Sol de Janeiro Fast Absorbing Body Cream, um, Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This smells so good. I don't know how to explain it. <sighs> like almond. I don't know. I, I really smell almond and I love the smell of almond. I have almond wallflowers like all over my house so I love this scent and this is really nice and portable for travel and I'll probably put it in my purse because the other lotion I have is running out and I already showed you the eyeliner and then we got these three brushes I already used the stippling brush for underneath my eyes and then we got this more of like you can use this for contour blush highlight um you can use these two brushes really for anything um, this one's more of like a mini version of this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is um, everything that I got. And also the O for Liquid Lipstick, but I that's in my purse. Because I, I do really like it, um, and it's very comfortable. The formula is really pretty. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head out, and I will see you guys once we reach... 
Ulta because we're going to Ulta first because I, I really don't need a lot from Ulta. Um, but check out my baby hairs. They look so bad. Like once you're looking at me straight forward, these baby hairs, I hairsprayed them down and they still stick out. So I don't know what to do. But yeah, let's go. So I'm on a stoplight right now. Um, I just was at the post office for another like 30 minutes and turns out I was at the wrong post office. So I have to go to another post office tomorrow to pick up my Fashion Nova order and then... Um, yeah, so I have to go there and pick it up. But now I'm on my way to Ulta and the grocery store finally. It's almost 5 o'clock and I already know that I'm going to have to hit 5 o'clock traffic on the way back home. And I'm really thirsty. My mouth is super dry. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I'm driving now. Continue on East 3rd Street. Guess where we are. We made it to Ulta and I'm about to get ran over. Okay, and now, look at IHOP, not IHOB. My IHOP still has a P, so in my book, it's still International House of Pancakes, not burgers. It would make so much more sense if they made it International House of Breakfast. Why burgers? I feel like they're doing that just for like, so people can talk about them and I don't know, like a reinvention. I don't know. But I just got out of Ulta. Is this a car going to stop? I just got out of Ulta and now I'm driving over to Harris Teeter. I'm trying to find a parking spot, but it's a little difficult. I might have to park all the way back here. Um, yeah. Ooh, is Starbucks still under construction? Yay! It's not! I'm going to grab a drink before I um, head to Ulta. Er, head to Harris Teeter. I tried filming for you guys in Ulta and I tried being conspicuous about it and it did not work. Uh, a lady came up to me and said I wasn't allowed to film. Are you not allowed to film in Ulta? Because I used to work at Ulta and I've had some people go in there and like Snapchat and stuff. Um, I don't know. I never thought that was a rule because I worked at Ulta twice. Um, anyways, I'm going to show you uh, what I got from Ulta. So Casey Holmes recommended this Flower Beauty uh, Light Illusion Full Covered Concealer. I've never tried it before. I was going to buy my normal Makeup Revolution concealer. There's somebody staring at me. Oh well. I mean, I'm talking to my phone, so I guess it's kind of weird. Um, but she recommended this. I got the shade Light. I hope it's not too light because, you know, sometimes in the packaging it could kind of... Um, look a different color so I got this concealer because Casey Holmes recommended it I only spent $36 I'm very proud of myself because um, that could things can escalate quickly in <laughs> Ulta so um, then I got a new foundation I really hope this matches she was one shade lighter um, in the video that when she reviewed this foundation but I think that I'm a little darker than she is so we're gonna try it it looks like it would be a good match um, but it's like a soft kind of glass um so the color can be deceiving in the bottle so hopefully it's not too dark and there was no testers but this is the la girl pro matte high definition long wear matte foundation in the shade light tan so hopefully this matches i'm gonna try it tomorrow uh casey holmes also, re also blah, 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 recommended this so i'm excited to try it and then, I think these are the last two things I got. So Tati, my girl Tati, she's not my girl. She doesn't know that we're, we're friends, but she's my friend. Um, she recommended, see Tati, Casey Holmes. Um, actually, Tati and Casey Holmes are like the YouTubers. I literally trust everything they say and everything that I've tried that they've recommended has worked for me. So I really do trust them a lot. Um, I got the Les Chocolat. Uh, <laughs> uh, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Tati talked so highly of these. I got the shade Bittersweet and Dose of Cocoa. And L'Oreal Cosmetics is buy one, get one 50 at Ulta. So I got buy one, get one 50. And they look like this. And hold on, I haven't smelled them. This lady is staring at me. Awkward. Let me smell them. Oh my god. It's like such a warm, like a warm, sorry, I only have one hand. Such a warm, like welcoming scent like I feel like Bath and Body Works has a candle this scent speaking of Bath and Body Works I have a coupon um for Bath and Body Works because it's in my annual sales going on right now but I just feel like 
I shouldn't go in there because I have so many candles from the Mother's Day sale that it's just no point of going in there. So I'm not going to, but I am going to head into Storby's. Um, it's right in front of me. As you can see, you can't see really because of the trees. But I'm going to get some Starbucks because my mouth is so freaking dry. Um, and then I'm going to walk over to Harris Teeter and grab some groceries. Frozen veggies. Um, you see the stuff at the bottom? Okay. I love watching videos like this, like grocery shop with me videos. I'm sorry. I want to try and make a Jimmy John's sandwich at my house. Okay, so this is what I got at the grocery store. I got this beef because I'm planning on making some Japanese curry for my boyfriend. Um, he's half Japanese, so I wanted to try this. I've seen this in his cupboard at his house, so I wanted to make it for him tonight, even though he told me he wanted fish and sweet potatoes, but he always eats the same thing, and I feel so bad. Um, I always offer to make something different, and he always asks me to either make pasta or burgers or fish and sweet potatoes or like 
you know, regular potatoes with Cajun seasoning, and I just feel bad. So I'm gonna try to make him some curry, and I have this beef and this jasmine rice. So I'm gonna leave this over here, because that is for the curry. Um, anyways, I got this shrimp. Now don't get it twisted, this shrimp here, um, it does have some carbs in it. It has four grams of carbs per serving and a serving size is about seven shrimp. So make sure you stick to the serving size. I had a problem with that when I first started dieting. Um, that goes for stick to the serving size for this, for this, um, for the veggies. Make sure you stick to the serving size because you don't want to go over. Um, you know, keto is extremely, extremely low carb. I think that I only have 20 grams of carbs a day, probably less than that. So I got some lettuce mix, one for my boyfriend, one for me. I love this sweet onion vinaigrette. It's my favorite and I can't find it in like a regular, like I can't find the, so uh, the dressing by itself. So I just buy this and I really love this salad because it's very crunchy. I got avocados for breakfast. I got some burgers because I love my burgers. I use, um, go, I, I make go free burgers with the lettuce buns. So I um, got that. I got some of my old favorite Cholula chili garlic. These diet green tea with ginseng and honey. And then I got some kombuchas for my boyfriend. He loves kombucha. I can't even take one sip without like gagging. It's so gross. And the last thing I got is sweet potatoes because I do make that for my boyfriend in the air fryer. So um, this is everything I got. I already showed you what I got from Ulta. I'm gonna put it away and then I'm gonna start to make the curry and hopefully it turns out okay. I'll show you guys the end result. So this is the final verdict of the curry. He didn't eat it all so I guess he didn't like it. Did you like it? <laughs> Scale one to 10. Great. No, you have to do one to ten. What is the, what is the best one or two? Ten. So which so rate it one out of ten. That's good. Babe, rate it one out of ten. Maybe a eight point five. Okay, I'll take it. It was my first time making it. Yeah. Yeah. You want me to be honest? Huh? But he didn't. He didn't eat it all because it's heavy, and we're about to go to the gym. All right, guys, so I'm going to close out the vlog here. Um, the vlog wasn't that interesting. I mean, I don't do a lot of crazy things in my day-to-day -day life. I go to the grocery store a lot. Um, I stay home a lot. I work out. And that's basically my routine every day, every week. So um, that's like the fun part of my week is going to the grocery store. So I just decided to bring you guys along. Um, but I just got back from the gym. I'm gonna make us some dinner. I still am undecided on what I wanna eat. Um, I think I might have a guilt-free burger. want to see next <laughs> I just messed up all my words let me know what you guys want to see next if you want a makeup tutorial or a story time or another workout video a lot of you are asking about the fitness q and A. I I will still do that but I think I just did like a fitness video but that one was more uh, regarding keto my keto diet so if you want to know more about like my fitness journey in general and like a, a general fitness update um, feel free to leave the questions down below. I get a lot of questions on Instagram too, so I'll add those in the video. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!